Good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone, on day two of my bootcamp, storytelling bootcamp for growth. Uh, this is Ilzi B here with my team, Ilzi B, on day two, as I said, and today our topic is the impossible story. But right now, I would like to invite my uh, partner, my collaborator, my friend, after all, who has been with me for 10 years, my business partner, Irina Shilova, who is my guest today. <laughs> Hello, Irina. Thank you so, so much for joining <laughs> me today and uh, being ready <laughs> to share your story. How are you doing? Hello, Ilze. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> uh i'm i'm so nervous and exciting at the same time and uh how are you <laughs> i i'm doing i'm doing great and irina irina i didn't introduce you because i know that's a part of your story you are going to introduce yourself and uh, talk about what you have studied and about your skills and all that so how ready are you are you ready to share your story are you ready to dive right in Yes, thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. So the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. So, I was born in Estonia. I live in Latvia. My native language is Russian. And now I will be speaking in English. I would like to share with you a lot of interesting and useful information. But the only thing I think about now is how not to say something wrong <laughs> or will I ever be able to speak more like a native so that you are not making fun from my accent <laughs> probably only now after these words you will start paying attention to it but my fears have been bothering me for several days in fact they don't allow me to sleep peacefully Anyway, I will continue to speak because I promised myself that I would do it. Improving my English speaking skills is one of the goals of my vision. I defended my diploma thesis on the speech writing process with distinction. I have worked for 10 years in a translation agency and managed multiply projects at the same time. I have dealt with all crisis situations at work regularly. I have been teaching Latvian for English speakers. Now I help Ilze B with her new program. I, I am able to perceive a lot of information and sort it out. I can explain things so they seem easy for others. But I keep thinking that you may not like my pronunciation. I'm convinced that the most of the fears are only in our heads and probably are related to acquisition of any skill. Maybe the ability to speak in front of large group of people. Maybe the ability to make live videos. The ability to demonstrate our talents or speak a foreign language freely. All these skills can be mastered. It only takes time and desire. Um, if you have a similar fear, know that Thank you, Irina. Facebook users see people, people are commenting and I am sure that there will be Kizzy, yes, Kizzy is one of my assistants who also is not, uh, whose uh, lang first language is also not English. So Colleen, also very captivating speech. Like it is, it really is. Do the homework, do the homework, because then afterwards we are going to meet in a smaller group privately, not pub publicly, and help you to develop your story further so it sounds powerful and so that you can share it with 
confidence or maybe with vulnerability, but so that it touches people's yeah. hearts. Yeah. So I have uh, questions really about uh, your choice and how you crafted this story and why you picked this story. So, so my first question is, why did you think it was relevant to share the problem about your spoken English under this particular title, The Impossible Story, with, with this audience? So I'm working to promote LZB launching his structured <laughs> group coaching program in Vision Greater Worlds. So it was important for us to share one of the results of coaching that would seem impossible for me without it. 